Okay, so time for another gas mask and air rifle testing video. This time I'm going to test the Scott GSR with the air rifles um, shooting at the same sort of targets as before. Again, remember this is not to test my ability to shoot a rifle, it's to test how well can I shoot a rifle with a mask on. And obviously the GSR is the mask in question today. So um, I'm going to shoot at the board back there mostly, I don't think I'll bother with the spinning target. And I'm going to do it with my Crossman Nitro Venom on with a scope and my BSA Hornet with iron sights. See how well both those work now. Obviously, with this mask, you can actually put the filters into the shooting position, which should, in theory, let you get a bit closer. I still find, even if um, I take the filter off, look, you'll still find that sort of bulky and horrible on that side anyway. Um, so, if I get that back on. Yeah, I'll try the mask in both positions for shooting and maybe I'll even try it with the filter off for the sake of this video. But it's going to basically be, can I actually comfortably aim at the targets? Anyway, let's get on with the video. I'll use the Crossman Nitro Venom first and take a few shots of that. And then we'll see how that does. Um, obviously, if that works alright, um, then go to the next rifle. So let's get started. Okay, I've put on safe, but with the filter in this position, it's completely impossible to get a good enough cheek weld to take a shot, so let's try it in the shooting position now. Okay, so even with the filter in this position, if you can see that, I still had to tilt the gun horribly and tilt my head to get a sight picture, which probably means I'm not actually properly looking down the sight. Therefore, what I think is the middle of the crosshair is not the middle of the crosshair. Um, so again, we sort of established that turning the filters doesn't do much on this mask. So let's just take the filter off, pop it on the floor. Um, and what we'll do now is I'll just try and take some shots with the filter totally off on this side. Okay, so with the filter off on the shooting side, which is not how the mask is meant to be worn of the British Army, um, you can actually uh, get a much better sight picture, but again, it's not brilliant. So to give you an idea, if I put the filter back on, when it's in the regular position, you almost can't get a um, good scope picture with this rifle at least. I know this isn't an L85A2 or whatever else, but the point stands. So with this position, you can't really get a sight picture at all. With it in the reverse shooting position, you can get a bit of a sight picture. Not a brilliant one by any means, but you can kind of see the scope. With the filter off, um, it's much, much better. So again, this is kind of why lots of masks only have the filter on the shooter's non-dominant side to make it easier to get a good sight picture. But I know now that they obviously want to do these kind of south ceiling masks of these sort of systems on 
Again, good on paper. How well it works in reality, I'm not really sure. But as I said, you can get this mask to shoot all right, at least with this rifle. Anyway, so now to repeat the exact same test but with the rifle of the iron sights. I'll just check this rifle is clear before I put it away. Yeah, it's clear. Um, so, what I'm obviously doing is just going to switch the iron sights now and see if that's better or worse. With the last mask I tested, the Polish MP5, iron sights were harder to aim down. So we're going to see what happens. So again, I will be doing the same test, but this time with a rifle with iron sights on, as you can see. So again, similar results. Now, there's one thing I find really interesting with this mask. It's supposedly pressurised and airtight, yet my hay fever's starting to get set off a bit, so is there a slight leak in the mask? That would be interesting, another failure point. Does the drinking tube make an airtight seal? I kind of wonder about that. Um, it looks like it should, but who knows, maybe air's leaking through there somehow. So anyway, sounds like the police helicopter's coming over to see what I'm doing as usual, um, filth. So, uh, basically, yeah, the mask isn't brilliant. The uh, actual, sort of, with the filter off, it's easiest to shoot. With the filters on, it's very difficult. With the filters in the shooting position, it's slightly better. I found the iron sights on this one, it is actually a bit, um, Weirdly, it's easier with the filter in the forward position than the shooting position, I don't know why. But with the scope, it's the other way around. So, anyway, there you go. Um, the Scott GSR, it kind of did okay, better than I was expecting. But again, not as good as it should have been. So, um, I'll just pick up the other filter I chucked on. And uh, that's a bit better, so there we go. Is this mask any good? Well, you already know my opinions on this mask. It didn't do as badly as I was expecting it to today, but it didn't do particularly well either, so let that be the result of the test. It's mediocre at best. You know I've already tested the S10 and you know that that performed very well with both iron sights and scopes. So there we go. Uh, the Scott GSR is not as good as the S10 for shooting, that's very clear. Again, these aren't military rifles with military optics on, so bear that in mind. The mask wasn't designed for my particular scopes, etc. But you will know that if you've read the MOD notes on this, that it failed in all the shooting tests and they had to be abandoned. Uh, the Avon M50 didn't, which is an important note, but this one did. Anyway, that wraps this video up. It didn't perform as badly as I was expecting it to, but it didn't perform well either.
which is the answer to this video basically. Mediocre. Just an interesting side note about the GSR. Look how much sweat manages to accumulate inside the uh, mask on a warm day. Um, if you look at the top section there, all around there, hopefully that's visible. Not the prettiest thing to show you, but it kind of surprised me just how much sweat has collected in this very quickly, especially compared to other masks I've used. Um, even the Polish MP5, which I used in the same temperature conditions out here for a similar amount of time, wasn't as bad, and that collects sweat quite quickly. So anyway, that's just a side note. Um, you'll get sweat filling up your mask fairly quickly. Whether or not that set my hay fever off, I don't know. Oh, there's a little spider on the mask as well. <laughs> Fly off spider. Uh, so there we go. Um, Scott GSR, as I said, mediocre.